Here we go. Here we go. Ah, uh, no! No, no, touch your go, touch your go, touch your go, touch your go! Hey! Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Simple Planes video! Today I've got a bunch of awesome planes to show you guys. There might not just be planes though, there might actually be cars, maybe even some boats, or some tanks or something like that, but uh, we're definitely trying out this thing today. And this is, of course, the Junkers F-13, which is actually a really cool plane, and it also flies really nicely in this game as well, so uh, that's, uh, that's a really good thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? Okay, so, before we actually set off and go, I just want to say that this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Um, the problem is that I can't actually read the instructions because it's far too small on my monitor, and uh, I don't want to zoom in on every instruction. So, we're guessing about how to actually turn this thing on, okay? We're guessing. Uh, and that's going to be kind of interesting to see. So, we need to close this door. I think we leave this on the ground, although that looks really cool. We got like a champagne bottle and stuff. That's really nice. Um, but yeah, I need to figure out how to close that door. So, in order to actually close that door, we're going to press every button. That opens up those doors, so we don't need that one. Two, I believe, locks those doors. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I think eight turns on the engine. Um, but yeah, if I go ahead and fiddle around with this. There we go. All right, and then we turn everything off again. <laughs> That's the only way I know how to close that door. Um, so yeah, there you go. All right, if I go ahead and throttle up, nothing changes. But if we do this... It starts spinning. There we go. All right, off we go. We're leaving that champagne and the uh, suitcase behind, and we're going. Now, I really like the way this thing takes off. I, I like how slow it is to actually build up speed. And, yeah, look, the back wheel isn't even off. The uh, now it is. Now it's off the ground, uh, but it's ready to go. Three, two, one, and lift up. There we go. Beautiful. That is awesome. That is actually really cool. Uh, and one thing that I really like about this plane as well is that it's got two of these, two, two horizontal stabilizers, which just looks weird, but I like it. I, I do. Uh, it does have an inside if you guys want to see the inside. I don't think the wheels do anything. Oh, the landing gear, I don't think it does anything. Uh, so let's go ahead and go on the inside, and I'll show you guys around. So this is the back. If I go ahead and press 2 or 1, uh, it'll open up the doors. So that's pretty cool. We need to go ahead and close that for now, though. If we go on the other side, this is the other side of that one room. And then this is the cockpit. Oh, yeah. How cool does this look? This looks amazing. Uh, we got a lot of instruments and stuff like that in here. I don't know whether this will turn any of them on. No, I don't think it did. I don't think it did. Uh, but that's pretty cool that we got inside. That is actually really nice. So, what do we want to do with this plane? Well, I was thinking that maybe we should just go ahead and try and land it on an aircraft carrier. I'm not entirely sure how that would work because I don't think its stopping distance is very small. Uh, but I guess we could give it a go, couldn't we? It's just started wiggling. I'm not even touching the controls right now. I've got autopilot on. This is so strange. Watch this. There we go. It turns off. Autopilot disabled. Autopilot enabled. There we go. How weird is that? The autopilot wiggles this plane around. That is very strange, considering it was working a second ago. Anyway, we're going to line up on the aircraft carrier, and we're going to try and put a Junkers 13, uh, F-13 on the deck. I don't think this is going to go too well, but we're going to give it a go. And now it's stopped again. We've got the autopilot still on, but if I go ahead and turn it off, then we'll start going down. But if we turn it back on, it's not wiggling. This is so strange. Oh, now it is. There we go. That is really weird. That is really strange. Anyway, we're going to try and start to turn around, and uh, we're going to pop it down on the deck of the middle carrier. Yeah. Imagine how much time it must have taken them to put all of this on here. That is crazy. That is absolutely insane. Also, the front looks really good. It looks really, really nice. And the wings as well. Look at the texturing right there. That looks awesome as well. Oh, man. A lot of this plane looks really great. It really does. It looks awesome. Um, I can't imagine how much time it would have taken to actually build this thing. But uh, there you go. Yeah. Also with the like detailed interior as well. Look at that. We've even got like a harness for the pilots. That is cr And the seats. Look at that. That is mental. That is crazy. Anyway, we're very close to the carrier now. So uh, let's get ready for a landing. Yeah. I mean, I haven't read any instructions on how to actually break or anything like that. But I presume that we turn off 8 when we go on the floor. But I'm not entirely sure. So, yeah. I think this is going to actually be kind of difficult anyway. Because there's no trim setting for this thing. So it automatically wants to sort of nose down. Because obviously the nose is sort of like in the air. Uh, if that makes any sense. I don't know whether it does. Uh, but we need to line up. We need to line up. Let's just go ahead and go to the side a little bit. There we go. 
And we need to see our speeds. So let's go ahead and go to our speed. There we go. We're going 140. And we're still going kind of sideways. Because the, the vertical stabilizer doesn't appear to be doing too much. Alright, here we go. Here we go. We're cutting the throttle. We are cutting the throttle. All the way in 3, 2, 1. Oh! <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, no. No, no, no. Oh, we're okay. It's fine. We landed. I, I, I'm going to count that as a landing. There's no way it's not a landing. Right? Surely. I think that looks great. Uh, but yeah, we, we actually stalled out and uh, it noses down really quickly at that point. Also, we hit our landing gear on the floor as well. So it also pitched us down. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on to something else. And hopefully we'll have fun with that as well. Alrighty, now we've got a really weird looking thing. Look at the back landing gear on this. What is that all about? That is crazy. We've got like three... Um, three wheels per landing gear on the back and only, oh wow, that's crazy. That is a crazy looking machine right there. So this is built by Griffin the Dragon and it's obviously got a paw print on the back. I don't know whether it's got his logo on it anywhere. I, I don't think he has. I don't think he's put his logo on it. Uh, but that's okay. This reminds me of like, I don't know, American transport planes, uh, such as the C5, I guess. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and take off. We're going to fly it round to right airport and we're going to try and put it down on the ground. I have not flown this thing at all before, so, um... Yeah, this is this is a first time for me as well. It looks tiny. <laughs> it looks so small with those landing gear. That is crazy. Wait, is that our pitch? Our pitch is on the uh, the main wings, and also on the other wings as well. All right, okay. Wait, the landing gear pokes out. Oh, well, that's okay. That's fine. Whatever. Oh man, this thing is actually pretty fast. We're going 380 miles an hour, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's not the fastest thing in the world, uh, but it's only got two jet engines and it's tiny. Like, it is so small. I, I don't know how it compared it to anything else, but it isn't very big at all. We might even be able to put it down on the carriers. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's go attempt to land it on the carrier. Uh, we got like six landing gear at the back, which have pretty good stopping power. We've got the two wheels on the front, which also have pretty good stopping power. I think we're going to be good with this one. I think we are. I think we're going to be able to land a jet plane on the carrier. Let's go for it. Alrighty, so we're turning around now. Let's go put, in, put it into orbit mode so we can actually see properly. Uh, it's a little bit bouncy, but I, I'm not entirely sure why that is, but that's okay. Go ahead and put the landing gear down. There we go. Does this actually have flaps? I don't think it's got any flaps. So we'll have to leave that like they are. That's okay. And we're going in relatively fast, so let's go ahead and slow them down a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, in fact, slow them down a lot because we don't want to be landing at 300 miles an hour. That is not something that we want to be doing. Maybe 200 max. Possibly 200 max. But I don't know whether this thing falls out of the sky at less than 200. I don't know. We'll see. Here we go. 218. That's probably good enough. It's probably not, actually. 218 on a really tiny carrier deck? Ah, uh, no. That's not going to work. But uh, we'll give it a go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, uh, no! No, no, touch and go, touch and go, touch and go, touch and go, no! Oh, well, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Damn it! Alrighty, this is probably our final plane. This is obviously an Antonov AN2, which is coincidentally the plane that I've flown probably the most in any game. Because this plane is in DayZ, uh, the DayZ mod on Armor 2, uh, which is actually pretty cool. Although, in fact, actually, it's probably just in Armor 2, and I've flown it there as well. Anyway, we're going to be taking off with this thing. It is one awesome looking plane. It's like a little cargo plane, kind of like the first one that we that we flew, uh, but a Russian version instead. So, uh, there you go. Uh, one is to open up the passenger doors. So, where's that? On the back. There we go. There's one to open up the passenger door on the back. Two is the cargo door, which is... Oh, wow! Oh, that's such a good idea. That is a really good idea. I like that. Okay, cool. Um, three is landing lights. So, if we go ahead and put those on, they're on the end of the wing. And VTOL is for flaps. So let's go ahead and put the flaps down. Uh, is this VTOL or is the other one VTOL? Oh, wow. That is crazy. That is crazy right there. Trim is probably just trim. Yeah, it is. All right, cool. So if everybody's ready to go, let's go ahead and take off and fly this thing around. All right, here we go. We've started the engines and we are going slowly. Yes. I like it when people do it properly. I really do. I really do. Uh, going slowly at the start. Uh, yeah, there we go. And it takes off instantly as well. That is crazy. I remember that. That is that is really cool. Obviously, the landing gear doesn't do anything. It doesn't retract or anything like that because it just didn't. It didn't on the plane, so that's pretty cool. Um, am I going to say that I can land this one on the aircraft carrier? 
Well, we've tried to land the other two on the aircraft carrier, so uh, we might as well attempt to land this one, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. Let's do that. It also looks like this one has a cockpit, so let's go ahead and go inside. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, wow, look at that. We've got an ornament, boys. Oh, wait, it actually moves around, too. Oh, we got an ornament that moves around. That is actually really cool. I like that. All right, cool. We've also got, like, what looks like window wipers. That's awesome. That is, that is really cool. Um, and we've also got, like, throttle levers and stuff like that. Does the flaps also have one? Presumably the flaps also has one, uh, but we can't really look down there right now. Um, right, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Do we have any other cameras? We got the other seat. Okay, cool. And we got a passenger seat as well. So if I press two... Oh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Go ahead and close... Ah! Whoa. All right, cool. That's all good. We got another passenger as well. And we got the outside view. Man, this thing is so slow. It is so, so slow. As for the detailing on the livery, I really like the livery. It looks awesome. We got, like, the red, which looks awesome. The white, which looks really good. And we got the gray as well, which looks awesome as well. We've also got the, re uh, the, the black on top of the engine, which I guess is to stop glare from going into the pilot's eyes, which kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Alrighty, we are ready to go down and try a landing. Yes. Sorry if I'm shouting into the mic, by the way. I, I, I've got these new headphones and I, I just can't hear myself. So uh, if I'm shouting, I'm sorry, okay? I'll try and stop shouting in the next one. Maybe I'll have to, like, I'll have to figure something out so I can hear myself, I guess. Because uh, if I'm shouting, that is not going to be a very good video. Uh, but I'm going to try my best not to shout, okay? Anyway, we're going in for a landing, so that's good. We are going only 180, so we're going slower than the jet was even, like, on landing. So, yeah, we're going way slower than the jet was even as it touched down. Uh, so that's good. We've obviously got flaps, so let's go ahead and place the flaps down, and we'll go ahead and slow our engines down. There we go. We, that makes us go, like, 120, even just 100, okay? We're going 104, 102, 101. We're slowing down. All right, cool. And we're going in for a landing. Oh, this is crazy. This is, we're going 97 miles now. 96. Oh, wow. Okay, right. This is crazy. This is crazy, boys. We're going in very, 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 very slowly. And hopefully this works quite well. If it doesn't, then ripperoni and pepperoni. But if it does, we are good to go, boys. Oh, man. Those flaps are really creating some lift. Holy jeez Louise. All right. Okay, here we go. We're going in. Ah! 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 No! Yes! Yeah, we did it! We did it! We landed! We totally landed! Alright, that's awesome! That is so cool! Wow! Alright, anyway, I'm going to end this one here. If you guys want to check out any of these planes in this video, then they will be linked down below if you guys want to check them. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. If you guys have any suggestions on what I should do in the next video, maybe we can attack the big old fleet. Maybe we can attack this fleet with something. Uh, let me know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.